So, you're wondering how good is the MacBook Pro 2021 with an M1 Pro processor and a 14 inch screen? How good is it in terms of battery life? That is the question we will be looking at today. So, here's the scenario. I had a service for my car booked in. There was a McDonald's over the road. I had some time to kill. I had my MacBook Pro with me. I went in, I grabbed myself a drink. I sat down, I fired my MacBook Pro up. Uh, it was at 100%. Uh, and I began to do some work, some admin tasks and things. So I thought I'll be nice and I'll report in to you guys how well the battery performed whilst I was doing my tasks. I opened my MacBook Pro up at 8.13. It was on 100% battery and I began to just look at Notion. I downloaded and installed Notion. I um, was looking into the app because it's new to me. So yeah, I fired up Notion. I was on there until 8.37 um, when I fired up Chrome and I began to do some work. Now at 8.37, when I opened Chrome, it was still on 100%. So that's quite a significant amount of time. It didn't drain at all. At 9.04, I checked in and I was still on Chrome. I was doing some messaging on Slack uh, and general stuff. By this time, by the way, I had opened up a few apps. I had my Things 3 app open, which is an incredible app um, for uh, task management. Um, absolutely loving it. So easy to use, so efficient, highly recommend it. By 9.15, I was on 91%. Uh, at which point I put the computer on low power mode uh, in settings because I, I thought to myself that's going to help help us out. Um, so yeah, low power mode seems to be a, a good way to go. 9.21 I was doing some messaging at which point I was at 8.89%. Um, at 9.25 I was at 88%. And I probably still was using Chrome. Uh, I noticed, I checked in and uh, noticed that the screen was quite warm uh, because I was sitting in direct sunlight at the time and the, you know, uh, the sun was just sort of beaming, glaring in my face and I was literally cooking myself. I noticed the screen itself uh, was warm, but the actual computer wasn't too bad itself. Uh, the keyboard area was fine. The screen was getting warmer and warmer, uh, which I would imagine was impacting the battery life. I'm not a computer scientist or anything, but I would imagine that would be the case. I also think that uh, I've heard that Chrome is very memory intensive. Um, so I'm thinking that my battery was going down fairly quickly or quicker than I thought it might um, because I was using Chrome. Uh, I've heard that Safari uh, is obviously a lot better in terms of memory and, and doesn't draw as much power, whereas Chrome does draw quite a bit of power. So I suspect that was sort of uh, impacting things as well. At 9.31, I opened a Word document. I just carried on doing a, bit, a few bits and pieces to about 9.50. So at 9.31, I was on 86%. And at 9.50, I was on 81%. Um, at 10.13, I checked in at 77%, by which point I was cooking, the screen was cooking. I was, you know, almost getting a bit concerned my screen might get damaged. So I moved into a shady area that had just opened up um, because someone left uh, and was sitting under direct aircon, which helped cool everything down, including me, because I was beginning to absolutely melt. At which point I was still working on Word, things like that. So at that point, I was at 77%. I almost immediately noticed um, just that the drainage wasn't going down as fast. I was sitting in direct sunlight and I noticed that it seemed to be dropping a lot faster than uh, now that I'm sitting in sort of a cooler area. Um, so it's, it's sort of slowed down. Um, whether that is the sum, I'm not sure, but yeah. I carried on doing some, you know, admin stuff in notes and Word and things like that. 10.30, I checked in at 75%, so gone down 2%. Uh, in those last uh, 15 or so minutes. Uh, and I noticed that the screen at that point was a lot cooler. I worked all the way through to 10.50, uh, doing the similar types of things. And I checked in at that point at 72%. So at 11.20, I fired up Lightroom and I noticed that um, I was at 69%. Almost instantaneously, I noticed that um, Lightroom was pulling a lot of power. I was obviously doing a, fo a photo edit at the time. So I was working in Lightroom all the way through 
uh, to uh, 11.50 um, and checked in at 61%. So when I opened Lightroom just 30 minutes before, I was at 69 and now I was at 61. I then, you know, just did a few uh, bits and pieces on, on the laptop and closed my Mac at 12 noon at 60%. So what's my conclusion to my little experiment? In conclusion, I would say my battery is draining faster than I thought it would. Um, I watched a huge number of YouTube videos prior to purchasing my MacBook Pro 14 inch, and a lot of people were just really singing the praises of the MacBook Pro um, in terms of battery life, which makes me wonder whether my battery, for whatever reason, isn't as good as a lot of other people's 14 inch. Uh, if you do have a 14 inch MacBook Pro with the same spec, I'll be interested to see how fast your battery is draining. But overall, it's still pretty good. It's, you know, it's, it, it drained 40% with four hours worth of work, which I think is, you know, fairly reasonable, actually. I guess I just had better expectations because of the amount of videos that I watched um, that maybe the battery would just drain like 20% or something in four hours. Um, so my, my expectations were probably too high when I purchased this machine. Ultimately though, in conclusion, I would say this battery is still very good. Um, I'm loving the MacBook Pro as a whole. I plan to do a proper review after I've had it a few more months. I've only had it two months at the moment. Um, I also plan to sit in one chair for the entire day until my battery dies to and log it in the same sort of way so that I can really drill down into how well the battery's performed. Um, so that's that's the plan. So the, the idea is, the idea will be that I don't leave my office chair until the battery has died completely. Anyway guys, thanks ever so much for watching. If this video has been helpful in any mild shape or form, then please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button if you wanna follow me along on my journey of using my MacBook Pro. And also um, we do video editing tutorials and um, video editing tips and tricks on this channel as well. So uh, if that is your jam, if you love that type of thing, then please do remember to stick around, hit the like and subscribe button as every YouTuber tells you to do. It is slightly boring having to say it because you do have to say it. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching guys. Take care and keep making videos. You guys are flipping amazing. Bye for now.